Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Transformers, Beast Wars, Rat Trap. But before we look at the figure, we're going to look at the date Transformers Beast Wars toys came out in on my tablet. So give me a second to look up the date. What year did Transformers Beast Wars toys come out in? 19... 96. So these figures are from 1996. Man, these figures are old. And I'm so glad to have them for my have my first one, my not my first one, but my fourth one for my collection. And this is a character I did like from the cartoon show. It is Transformers Beast Wars Rat Trap. Before we look at Rat Trap himself, we're going to look at the packaging. Got some nice artwork of Rat Trap in his robot mode. Some nice artwork on the box. And some more product shots on the box and a bunch of writing and a bio if you want to read it. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's get down to to looking at Rat Trap now. And yes, he resembles a rat. A rat, like Ratatouille and all that. Because he's a fierce maximal in disguise. But that's all there is to say for the rat mode. There ain't much articulation except for in the feet. Not much. But now it's time for transformation. Like so, like we just did, to fold it out. Now we're going to disconnect the hands, like so. Come on. Come on, Rat Trap. Come on, free up your hands. Sometimes these hands can get a little bit tight to get out. And there's Rat Trap in his robot mode. And it looks impressive. Articulation is really good. Ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, which is really nice. Ball jointed legs. Oh man, I love the posability on this old school figure. But now we can give him his weapon of murder death. A Predacon murder death weapon, which is his laser shotgun. You'd be like, take this, Predacons, pew, pew, bang, bang. But now we're going to give him his gun. And yes, this can be a little bit tight to plug it in. But there we got Rat Trap's shotgun, you know, pew, bang, and all that. And reload like ch -ch -pew. so you can shoot some Predacons with that pew pew bang bang sound. But now for comparison, we're gonna show them next to some other Transformers Vintage Beach Wars figures I own. We got Transformers Beast Wars drill bit next to Rat Trap. This guy, which I don't know his name, but he is pretty terrifying. Black Panther, or a.k.a. my custom Beast Wars Ravage, and he is less bigger. And, of course, a little Creon Cheetor. And that's all there is to say for those comparisons. Probably wondering, where did I get this figure? Well, I got this figure from Amazon for 10 bucks and is a Beast Wars Rat Trap Vintage re-release worth adding to your collection 
if you actually do know about the Beast Wars. Yes, I love the Beast Wars cartoon now, and I'm so glad I picked this guy up for my collection. I might pick up the Kingdoms one. Because, man, I dig this figure. I really do. And I'm probably going to work on adding a shelf of Maximals and Predacons. That's all there is to say for this review. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.